Okay, so recently I talked on my Instagram about, um, darn me, about not cheating on my stylist. And I'm not, but I am cutting my own hair recently. If you hear something underneath my feet, it's because I have a painter's drop cloth down because I'm about to show you how I trim my own hair. Um, now, this is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> I'm lucky that I did go to hair school and one of the classes that I sort of excelled in was trimming, you know, um, and getting good lines. So, I've already colored my hair with L'Oreal Creme um, Glass. It is a temporary color because I'm actually growing out my old color and so I wanted to, I didn't want to put a permanent color on my hair again. Um, I've been using this stuff here, which I find really, really, really works for my hair. Um, Christ, in my eye. Got it in my eye. Why do I always get stuff in my eye when I'm on camera? Um, it's called Climate Control. Um, and I really like it. So yeah, so I put a little bit of that on the floor, apparently. You only need a little, see? Just like that. And then I'll put a little bit more on after I'm done trimming my hair. Um, but yeah, I like to do this just as I'm, you know. Okay, so, oh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this on camera. This is kind of scary. Now what I like to do is I like to cut up using my fingernails. So here's my top half. Ta-da! And we're just gonna leave that right there. And we're gonna take this back part here and put it into a small little bun because we wanna cut the two sections separately. Remember, this is just a trim. The thing about trimming your hair that I should stress is that, um, first of all, you can always cut more off. Keep that in mind, but you can't put hair back. I mean, it sounds like, you know, sounds pretty normal, but unfortunately not everybody gets it. So pull everything in together. This is actually a technique that my old um, teacher taught me when it came to trimming my bangs. So there, see, I have that right there. Get my scissors out of my pocket and I'm gonna cut. And the thing about cutting my hair like this is I'm automatically, because I'm cutting like this, I'm going to end up giving it shape. See? Look at that. I'm gonna give it shape because, I mean, our heads are rounded so automatically when this falls it's going to fall a certain way now what we do is take this one here and we do the same thing we did with the back <laughs> i probably look like a bit of a weirdo right now it's totally okay i'm totally used to it now we're going to take the back one out and we're going to do the exact same thing we just did to the front I use the wide tooth part of my comb for this and then once I get it smoothed down and into the position I want it in, then I'll start using the other side of the comb to get all those extra little flyaways that are in there. Okay, so here we go. Now this end here has quite the substantial amount of um, trimming that needs to get done, but if you notice, so we're gonna have two little sections there. Now, there's your sections. Using your fingers as your guide, you're gonna cut across, cut across. Get any little like stragglers that are in there. You feel a bit of a head rush there. Got milk? <laughs> and now, 
My final part that I do is, I'm gonna put just a little bit more of my climate control in, this time in my hand, not on the floor. Now this is something great to do if you don't have the time to get to your stylist and you have a steady hand and a good pair of scissors. Right now I'm not using the greatest scissors, but I, I have sharpened them so they're actually like fairly sharp, so I'm not really worried about it. Now we're gonna come back down with our comb again and we're just gonna make sure that everything is sort of like evened out. There's no little extra straggly parts hanging around because you know sometimes you cut your hair and there's like a little piece that sticks out and you don't want that. So here we go. Let's come down here. Let's see just how straight it is, if it is straight at all. And uh, and yeah, so here we go. And like I said, this is not for the faint of heart. This is just a trim thing. You don't want to cut your full hair like this. But if you're in the middle of something and you need to like, well, you need a small trim, then see, we have just a little bit extra there. You see that? Ta-da! Now, we're gonna cut it off and bring it back. And there you have it. Okay, look at, look how long my hair is. Oh my goodness. So I decided that I was gonna straighten my hair just so I could show you what the trim looked like. And uh, there you go. Ta-da! I feel like I'm in like a salon sucked commercial. But yeah. Um, so there you have it. This is my hair after I cut it um, and I straightened it. Sometimes I like to straighten my hair after I cut it because it gives me a better idea of, you know what I mean, um, of the line that I made, if it's straight and everything like that. But other than that, yeah. I hope that you really liked this video. Um, and uh, yeah, now that the video is officially done, there's a couple of things that you can do. Number one, you can comment down below. Number two, you can share this with your friends, family, and coworkers. And of course, the most important, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. What?